All right, we've got a real problem child here. This has been worked on multiple times. Hasn't worked right in years, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Now these things are great when they work and they're horrible when they don't work. So I'm gonna take a bit of a deep dive into this thing and let's see what we find out now. We got a trouble code down here which is three flashes and that is no current now I would assume that this module can tell the difference between no current at all and low current now one thing I noticed right off the bat this is not good these connectors look like they're all interchangeable and here's what's suspicious. You notice we have two thick gauge wires in non-symmetrical locations. Now this thing has a fill sensor and I'm guessing that is the fill sensor and this is the element inside. This looks like a sensor wire to me. So let's get on the schematic and see what the deal is. Now what kind of manufacturer does a schematic with no wiring colors? That is unacceptable. <laughs> but we got just your typical relay here going through a CT. And that's going to be this guy right here. See that? Now we're going through a CT, so my black and red, those are, those are the power wires. So this orange here has got to be the sense wire, and if it is, it's going to come up onto that terminal block. Let's see. This wiring diagram is very bad. Okay, there we go. High water. High water right in there. As the oranges. I did misspeak earlier. So there's two separate relays here. That's the black. But any kind of high current spade connection, you want to check. See that? That's so loose, it's just rattling around in there. When you replace wire, when you put wires on components with spades, what you want to do is with your needle nose, come in here and crimp the back. That way the front stays open and you can still get it on the terminal, but you, you need to crimp these down every time you replace them on something like a contactor. Just giving this thing a once over, just looking at different stuff, making sure everything feels tight. All right, I'm gonna fix that spade. I was right about that sense wire. You see that shadow? That's the water level sensor. There's a, there's a terminal and there's a terminal. I, I don't work on these a lot. Um, these are little guys, and you only really find them in residential situations. In this case, uh, this is assisted living, and it's just one of the contracts we have. All right. I got the hose off so I can see the steam output. This is only 120 volts, so it's going to take a while to heat up this water. But, uh, that clear getting the amperage now what should the amperage be well <laughs> non-zero it should be around this range ish it a lot of it depends on the uh, TDS of the water okay sometimes you got to add a bit of salt up in here to kind of bring that up and create more current but in this case I, I had you don't really want to do that unless you have to. Now this light here just came on, so let me look into that, see if that's an issue. Solid green is normal. Green slash yellow is water level high. All right, I am starting.
starting to get some steam. It's hard to see in the lighting, but my current is coming up steadily, which makes sense because as the electrolysis or whatever takes place in this canister, I'm, I'm going to get more and more ions dissolved into the water. This canister is very hot now. I'm going to be looking at my humidity. That's the humidity in the closest duct. And I checked the humidistat. It's accurate within reason, several percent, which is fine. Alright, let's give it time. Humidity is coming up. Not sure how long I'll let it run, but one thing I noticed this just flapping in the breeze here. <laughs> so that's gonna be some condensate trap. And that needs to go right up. what this is about here <laughs> but I will say you want to be careful not to try and fix stuff that's not broke I don't know why this is here and I'm not just gonna go removing it because you know then then you have a resident saying that well the furnace is too loud blah 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 but what I will do is I'm gonna get this strapped back I, I don't like this restriction right here got to thinking I should just go ahead and show this little trick for anybody that doesn't know it now I'm going to be using these pan head self tappers and so I, I want this really magnetic now I already magnetized this one but you can see this one not at all so what I'm going to do tripod take like this this works with any screwdriver back and forth on a strong magnet and you're good to go after that last you know about a week and then you got to do it again now you can see I've got that pulled back now to prevent this from being razor wire you'll put a screw in there you cut it right about in here Fold that in down so your holes are lined up. There we go. So that, that's going to help with that airflow. Humidity is looking great. I think we got it.